Boom. It is day 42. We are at the Mary Inn at Marion at Marion Outdoors. We took a zero for a much needed resupply. It looks like we got a lot of things, including sneakers. So bye bye sneakers after 500 plus miles. Much needed resupply. Thanks for the support. Day 42. Upstairs, the hostel has the most comfortable beds. Downtown Marion has restaurants you'll be fed. In the morning, the shuttle. But watch out for tiny snails and big snakes, tiny snails and big snakes. Coach of the year, baby. Coach of the year. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Boom. Day 42. You know what? We're on a zero here at the Mary Inn in Marion. And I thought to start the day off for Rental and Unicorn, we'll talk about our refresh of how many miles did we uh, up to this point? A little over 550 little, on these five, shoes. 550. So let's start start with mine. ATR 6s. Here are the brand new ones. ATR 6 Challenger Hoka's. Here are the old ones. I'm going to flip it over so you can see um, where some of the damage was. As you can see, that came off. It's starting to come off right here. I mean, think about the weather conditions. It was like all four seasons. You can straighten that out. Unicorn. This just should show the difference. And kind of the tread there and the wear. And Unicorn, if you can flip that over, show me the front of the shoes, what happened to the tips. I mean, the tips here, they're clearly taking a beating. Some of the tips. And here on this other shoe, you can see. I mean, the really, the gut, I'm surprised the gut right here is really taking a beating versus this. I mean, you can see that it looks like you can just, 
you know, when I'm at home walking around Disney and we're flying around Florida, it just seems like it just doesn't wear out, you know, and, you know, of course we're not walking through ice and all these conditions, but I didn't think it, it would hold up to 500 plus miles. That's pretty impressive for the Hocus. And back to that note here before we get on unicorns here. The insides are still great and the sides of the outside shoe are still great. As you can see, no holes, but I'm just talking tread. So in terms of the shoe for the Hoka, everything held up but the tread after 500 miles. Okay, we're talking temp what, threes? Temp threes. Okay, let's look at your old shoes here. Where did the uh, wear and tear go? Got some wear and tear on the corners. Okay. Uh, really wore down in this area. Yep. Got a little flappy. Let's see the difference of Ooh. brand new. Let me get in there. As you can see, they're very, very grippy there. I just think that mine hold up better in town. Mine are trail and road ATR 6s where I feel these might be, you know, a little bit more agile on the trail, but that's why you wear Crocs in town to preserve them. And the tips. And the tips, tips held up pretty well tips. on the tips. Yeah, it's also the way you walk. Yeah. Okay, it looks like 500 plus miles, ATR 6 Challenger Hoka's. Ultra Temp 3s, it seems like we were on the same uh, page for getting sneakers shipped to us. But yeah, very happy. 500 plus miles sneakers. I think that's definitely happiest known time. We're going to give that happiest known time right here up on the screen. Happiest known time, baby. Let's see what the day has in store. For rental and Unicorn. Unicorn in the laundry clothes. Yep, loaner clothes. And you know, still got my lime green on. I'm going to get a haircut here at Hair Studio Incorporated. They accept walk-ins. Oh, right there. It's the American flag. Oh, say, can you see? Boom, day 42. As you can see, everybody, I'm going back to my former self, only for the top, though. We're going to let this strange thing here grow. And who do we have behind me? I'm Kenzie. Kenzie, how long have you been uh, here at this location? Actually, what's the name four, of this location? Four years. We're at Hair Studio Incorporated. And what, what road is it on? Uh, we are on North Main Street in Marion, Virginia. And this is about a five minute walk from the Marion Inn of the Coaches. And we went to Dollar General. And uh, so Kenzie, we're, we're hashtagging happiest known time. We're living our life. We're appreciating life every day. We're enjoying every moment. And as you're about to get the big bubble from the Appalachian Trail coming up, any message you'd like to tell the class of 23 at all? Any warm wishes or... What, what? Just good luck and keep on hiking. <laughs> good luck. And, and we are more than happy to take any walk-ins. If you need to come on in and get a trim or a shave, we're more than happy to do so. Well, you know, right now, Reynolds gets coaches' advice. Mm -hmm. Coaches head up. Where did, where did you go last night to eat? Unicorn? Uh, wood and pickle. Wood and pickle? Ah. I'm telling everyone to come down here. You know, I see these big beers growing. <laughs> it's okay. You can snip it up a little bit. You don't have to just let it go like big grizzly. You can snip it up a little bit, get your hair done. So come on down here, get your hair cut, get your beard. Um, if you're a lady, go get your hair redone and figure it out with Dollar General and KFC here. So come on by and uh, we'll catch everyone on the other side. Happiest no time here. Get your hair cut. <laughs> The joys of super glue. So super glue, as you can see here, I just put these uh, two Velcro strips on. 
I used some super glue in the back for the Dirty Girl Gators. There it is. There's another piece of Velcro right here. I put super glue on it. I had the Velcro shipped out with the sneakers and they'll dry. And also, on my tripod, as you can see here, when I've got the DJI out, there's the magnetic piece that holds the camera. And there's the uh, there's kind of like the ring that tightens it. But this piece right here, I don't know, back, whoop, this piece right here, that screw, used to pull out. It was a bolt. And when that pulls out, then it's pretty much useless because that holds the camera in place. So I had to super glue the screw back into the tripod. And it's been working ever since. That was back on like day 20 I had to do that. So the joys of super glue on trail for the shoes and for other things as well. Boom. Day 42. Kind of just chillaxing here at the end of the day on our zero here at the Mary Inn. I'm pulling up my notes because I don't want to forget about what we're doing. I think Unicorn is still packing our stuff away here. We just got done having some uh, dinner food at McAdoo's. Even though it's spelled M-A-C-A-D-O apostrophe S. They still pronounce that do's. I guess that's a do, right? D-O is pronounced do. But I would think McAdoo's would have two O's. I'm sure that happens all the time. Anyway, it was good. We ordered out. We picked up. Brought it back. It was good. Maybe I'll put a pic of that right there. Um, anyway, holy cow. What do I talk about? Coach. Coach of the year. He might be coach of the decade. And our book is like coach of the century. So coach, thank you so much for the awesome experience here in Marion. Right? It was an awesome time here. It's going to be tough to go. Our third zero. Can't say enough about you. What a good time. What a good song. What a good dude. Coach gave us a massive discount here for the two nights. Like a massive discount. Thank like, you. Like, Thank you so much, Coach, for everything. Like really a really big discount. You know? Um, so I think that he's deserving of a Happy Snow Time shirt. So yeah. I think that Wander, because he's our favorite veteran in the world, Triple Crowner, all that, I think you know, we just connected with him on so many levels. He got that shirt, but I actually think deserving of a second shirt is Coach. So Coach, you're going to get a shirt. We figured out how to send it to you. Um, you know, and uh, Super Glue is super. Just want to let everybody know that. Put those little shots in of the Super Glue. I just do believe Super Glue was absolutely super on a through hike. Um... I'm sick of Snickers. I didn't want to forget to talk about that. I'm so sick of Snickers, and I'm so sick of oatmeal. Oatmeal was clutch for me on the PCT. I just throw it down my mouth and just drink water right after. Sick of it. I've been carrying the same Cliff Bar since Emma Kalola Falls. It's like white chocolate something, unicorn. Uh, like a white chocolate macadamia. Yeah. Let's see how good I can if I can freestyle this. I wonder if you're in the picture. Are you in the picture? Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's total. I can't see this guy on the ZV1. Um. Could you pick up the beef free? Could you look at the two one liter bottles right there? Could you pick those up? Yeah, those. Please. They're trash now. Thank you. So, sorry about that. I just had to fade back in there because the camera was so out of complete whack. Um, let's see how these do. I'm such a Sawyer person. I really am. Let's see how they do. That's going to help us cut the weight. Thank you. We bought so much at the Outfitter. More than we bought at any Outfitter. Unicorn got these. Fancy dancy. Head headphones. Could you see those? You put them on the back of your neck and they play music without putting them in your ear. That's cool because I don't like to put stuff in my ear either. The Galaxy Buds and stuff at home. Um... What about this bear can? 
unicorn. It's getting pretty full stickers Do you see the, the focus right there? Yeah. You so think you can zoom it around? We just got this new AT sticker. Right. My unicorn sticker. Yep. Also Marion turtle sticker. Yep. And I am trying to do stickers from all the states. So I got Georgia. Right. I got North Carolina. Right. Tennessee is over here. Yep. And I just got Marion, Virginia one here. Sweet. And we both stepped on the scale. So yeah, we both stepped on the scale and I'm I'm still, you know, I'm doing good on the weight. Are you a unicorn? Like I looked yeah. at it, I look like normal, like A T is cool that way. I feel like I'm like trying to hoard the food down. I remember when John JDS took me into his house and Trail Angel us on the PCT. I mean, I was already losing massive amounts of weight. So I don't know if it's experience or the fact that on the ET, it just seems like you can just eat a lot more than on the PCT. You don't have to ration your food as much either when you're on trail. Yeah, so I don't know, man. It's like maybe not eating a lot. <laughs> maybe not the trail to go to if you got to lose weight. It's oh, like, yeah, lose see. weight. Quarter of the way in. Yeah, well, we'll see. Watch, I'll look like a skeleton in about a week with a shaved yeah. head. Got my haircut. That was cool. Yeah, haircut. Forgot to talk about that. Um, she was cool. Yeah, Kenzie. Kenzie was. Don't ever take a trail name, Kenzie. If you went on trail. It's a cool name. Just use Kenzie. That's just a. That's a cool stinking name. That's so cool. Um, okay, so, but besides that, I think those might be the topics uh, for the zero. Um, who knows? Maybe down the road. I don't know. I don't know. Coach is going to get a shirt. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll offer offer some shirts and some some stuff to the public. You know, we'll see. We'll see. I'll talk to Coach about it. But we'll kick some ideas around with uh, the shirts and the the hats and some of the stuff. And but I just really love his outfitter. I do. I think that store is awesome. He he really put a lot of thought in what he puts on his shelf. You know, you can look at it as a through hiker and go, I would use that, I would use that. Okay, I wouldn't use that, but I think so, some other through hiker would because we all have different styles. So I can just tell that he's done a lot of research on, on what to use. He's got over 20 years experience in, in like backpacking and camping, and he also bike packs, which is going to be a, something cool to look into if we ever van life is, is also bike packing. So I'm going to ask him, you know, a lot of questions on that route. We've got a few tracks bikes as well but besides that yeah keeping you on here for this long outro on our zero um i do apologize but uh i don't know but i don't because i like talking to everybody so thanks for watching day 42 coming to an end right here let's see what the future holds for rental unicorn on day 43 and Unicorn is just continuing to do her task while I just sit here and just do absolutely nothing and slack. Okay, over and out. Marion, tomorrow we leave in the morning. We head northbound. Happiest known time, baby. Happiest known time having so much fun. Peace. All right, so... We're about to walk in. I'm going to give you a walkthrough of this outfitter here in Marion because I believe this outfitter is pretty cool. Unicorn is back there shopping with Coach. We're going to run through here. Coach was nice enough to stop the radio so it's YouTube friendly. I'm going to walk around the facility here and show you how full and whole it is. I mean, he uh, bike packs a lot. He's camped over 20 plus years he's totally vested in the Appalachian Trail as you can hear oh wow look at some of these cool tags uh, t-shirts Marion Virginia it's a wonderful place so far $26 I think whatever you need will be here he's got gooder sunglasses right there um, we're walking around here it's a beautiful setup I mean topos are getting popular ultras are there um, that's really beginning to be a popular shoe I'm seeing on trail. I myself use Hoka's. You see he's all the gloves, OR gloves, and in Gingy's, more sneakers. You've got things for dogs. If you've got your dog out packing with you, he's got the pack. Um, 
a lot of books. Let's go here on the outskirts. Look at this beautiful A T shirt. I, I think I, if I wasn't packing, I'd buy one because I haven't. I didn't see that down at the N O C. Or Neil Gap. Beautiful, beautiful hats, shirts, pants. Back here, you've got a beautiful sign. It says Marion Outdoor Gear and Resupply. He's got some, I think these are some synthetic jackets. That looks synthetic to me. Puffies. Enlightened equipment right here. It does look very familiar. Unicorn was interested in that. Um, turning around here. Oh, a wide selection of what we love. The really big uh, tuna packages that have all the veggies. Yes, he. Oh, we love peak. Peak's really good. peak Actually, is good. That one looks really good. We haven't tried that. The three bean chili. Mac. Three that bean chili good. mac, and then up here he's he's got water bottles, way more stuff to eat. Plenty of stuff to eat. I said way more. Plenty of stuff to eat. As you can see here, it is a fully loaded outfitter. Just look up the reviews online. People love it. That's why I'm thinking that hostel up there, that relatively new hostel, uh, the. I wouldn't even call it a hostel at this point. Uh, we're staying upstairs. It is just, there's so much potential up there, and he just started it, so we're loving it right now. All kinds of things, rain gear, bends. We've got some water filters, backpacks up on that back wall. Plenty of stickers for your water bottles and your bear cans and the memories if you want to send them out. I mean, this is full pocket knives, hats, uh, keychains. It's fully loaded. Uh, cool AT sign, and I tell you what, I've really appreciated it. I've spoken to Coach this morning. We were getting ready in the bedroom, and we had that conversation. You know, as you know, I like to have that personal conversation off camera and really get in the head of the business owner um, and their journey. It's, it was a wonderful conversation. We'll get, uh, we'll get Coach on uh, camera in a little bit here once we do some tasks. I think I might go get this thing shaved, the hair. You know how I like my hair shaved. I'm, not, I'm still not used to the facial hair thing, but I think I'm going to let it grow out. But yeah, so we'll get Coach on here in a little bit, but wonderful story. I love all these entrepreneurs and their small businesses. Support this outfitter down here in Marion. I know you've got a couple other places to stay in town here. Give Coach a visit. Uh, the prices are very reasonable. They're market price here in Marion. I just really love this day. That's why we decided to take a zero here. Wonderful person, wonderful business, wonderful town, and they really embrace you. So it is a, certainly a hiker town for sure. Anyway, we'll catch everyone on the flip. All right, here, real quick here. This is what we just got at the Outfitters. We got a couple beef freeze, light in the low. We're going to change it up. I think if we were doing a different trail, maybe stick to the Sawyer squeezes. But right now, we're going to try to get rid of our one liter bottles by going beef free. That's going to be a different loadout for this hike. Steaks, some fuel liner stickers, and uh, maybe we'll get some other things here. The post office is right behind us.